going on everybody welcome back to hidden heights farm it's kevin and kaya and today we are worn out it's been a busy weekend we've had baseball tournaments after baseball tournaments and i finally got most of the fencing project done i got all the fence stretched and all the clips on the t-post i've just got to go back through and uh, fill my gates in and i also got the cylinder off the dump truck just now and uh, i'm gonna take it in tomorrow Oh, it's been beautiful weather. God has blessed us again. You know, the weather has been about as perfect as you can get. Awesome temperatures. The storms that was supposed to come in through yesterday missed us. Got to finish the baseball tournaments, came home, worked on the fence. And uh, sorry I haven't been posting many videos lately. I have been hooked up. But uh, we got a little project today we're going to work on. We are going to... We are going to build some raised beds out of some treated 2x10s and I also have all the ingredients almost all the ingredients to make the super soil that Mark over at Bumblebee Junction talks mm -hmm. about in one of his videos I'll try to put an I card up so you guys can go check out that video this stuff is great soil and uh, I don't know if we'll get to it today or not but we're gonna get to it hopefully by next weekend the plan is to try to get these raised beds done today what do you think, Kaya? Yeah. Well, I think it's going to turn out really, really good. We'll see. We'll never know until we try, right? Yeah. All right. Well, let's get busy. Oh, and one more thing. Before everybody starts leaving comments about uh, using treated lumber to build raised beds, the treated lumber that you buy nowadays, like at your big box stores, Lowe's and Home Depot, Sorry about the wind. Anyways, the lumber, the treated lumber you buy nowadays at like Lowe's and Home Depot and such, uh, the chemicals they use for the treated lumber nowadays is uh, based off of copper. Uh, back in the old days, it was a bad idea to use treated lumber around your garden vegetables and such because they used arsenic to treat the lumber to kill all the bacteria and the fungus from uh, eating your boards up. But nowadays, it's a lot safer. You can go online and read about it. I'm not going to get too much into it. I just know a lot of people will probably try to say, oh, don't use treated lumber because of the chemicals and this and that. But you can go look it up. It's supposed to be safe now. So we'll We're done for the day. We got two 10 by 4 foot raised beds and two 4 by 4 raised beds done today out of 2 by 10 uh, treated lumber. And now we got to get them filled up. And we also got to get this all this material right here you see mixed in and uh, make that super soil I was telling you about that uh, Bumblebee Junction talks about in his video. If you guys are not familiar with his uh channel go check him out i'll leave a uh, i card up there and uh man this guy knows a lot of stuff about gardening uh sorry i'm so i'm a mess man i have been going all day long and haven't had time to clean up and i'm just now getting out here to go feed the animals and uh i'll try to get you guys a little bit of drum footage o over the fence project that we did we're almost done we just got to do little parts where we're gonna have some gates i don't know if we're just gonna put gates up or just put some uh like cattle panels across there 
for now, but we're almost there. We can almost turn the goats out to that area so they can start eating all them dang little saplings and all the weeds growing on the hillside. So I'm going to go get the feeding and uh, I'll try to get some drone footage here in a little bit. Also guys, another update on the pear trees. All three of our pear trees are in pretty much full bloom, except for the Bartlett, it's already bloomed out. It's still probably in half bloom, but hopefully all the blossoms that were already out on it are pollinated and will turn into fruit. Here's one of the moon glows that's blooming out right now. So with all this great weather, which has been a blessing. I've been able to uh, accomplish a lot of projects here lately. The fencing was one of the biggest ones that I'm glad to get out of the way. Even though not, it's not all the way done, the hard part's pretty much out of the way. Uh, with the kids' baseball and everything else going on right now, it's time to start mowing as well. So springtime is my favorite time of the year, but man, it can keep you busy. All right, so the last time we checked on the turkeys, I think yesterday there was 13 eggs, and it looks like one of the hens is finally setting on that clutch of eggs. Yeah, it looks like the turkey hens finally went broody. So I know she's sitting on at least 13 eggs. That's what was in there yesterday and then if they laid any more today, she'll be sitting on them as well. So you guys know I had the incubator pretty much full of uh, turkey eggs and next Sunday, seven days from right now, uh, that's when the first group of the turkey eggs are supposed to hatch, which I think only two is fertile. But still, hopefully those two will hatch. I'll have to keep you guys updated and uh, we'll see. Hopefully they hatch. The nesting boxes are still working out great. We got two broody hens here sitting on a clutch of eggs apiece. I think they got about another week before they'll hatch. If you're new to the channel, Bear is a great Pyrenees that guards one of our herds of goats and he will not eat food out of a bowl so it has to be dumped directly on the ground. So, just an update for Bear for those of you that were asking. Alright guys, here's part of the fence. This video kind of shows you how steep it is, but it still don't do justice. That's a big drop down there. Hopefully the goats will enjoy this new little part of this steep terrain they can climb and eat all these bushes and weeds so like I said earlier guys sorry I haven't been posting a lot of videos here lately I just been trying to take advantage of this awesome weather and the free time that I do have to get all the stuff knocked out that we need to have done before summertime gets here and like I said earlier man it's here the grass is already growing as you can see behind me I need to be mowing now. 
I haven't even got my lawnmower out and serviced it yet and made sure everything's okay, but <sighs> Lord willing, that time will come. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching this video and I gotta get in the house and cook some crappie. We got some crappie from last fall that I caught and we're gonna fry it up. The kids are out outside already screaming that they're hungry, so here in a minute, I'll try to get some uh, drone footage of the fencing project that I've been working on. Keep you guys updated on that. But thanks for watching this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit that like button. We'll see you next time.